to all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell <laughs> that man no bye bye. Shit. I'm too fly. I'm too fly. Oh, I'm so good. Bye bye. We're going in. We're going in. We're going in. Yeah, tell me that that is not the most motivating thing that you have ever heard. Like, yeah, okay, it's not the most motivating thing maybe, but when you had four really rough weeks, having a phrase like that just pop at you in all caps on Instagram, you're just like, oh my god, this is a sign from God. We're still having lectures, but I'm going to make myself lunch. Hello guys. I wish I would have started filming this challenge yesterday on the actual day one, but I completely forgot to pull out my camera and then it was like the middle of the day and I was like, that's a little bit late. It's the second day of the Lily Sabri We're Going In Challenge. I just finished all my lectures for today. I had to wait till the afternoon to work out because Lily included a new workout which he posted this afternoon, 4 p.m. my time here in Berlin, Germany. And I was out for a lecture at that time. So now it's 6.40 and I'm going to do a workout. We're gonna do thigh tone, hourglass, Pilates, and arms. So here we go. Also, I got myself some pre-workout. I'm gonna drink that now. I better be hyped for this workout. In true Lily style, true Lily fashion with the cap today. Okay, honestly guys, I started this guy without any plan, any intentions, and that's actually why I didn't film day one of it because I pretty much spontaneously decided to join Lily in her new two Lily weeks for going in guide, making it my first Lily Samri guide that I would be following. And man, I knew right after day one that that would be it. And that's why I whipped out my camera from day two onwards to take you guys with me on this journey. This is not only a review and feedback on a Lily Sabri guide. This is a story on how I got back on the grind. It's about gaining back that fitness motivation and love and trust me, I did just that. And I'm gonna take you Pilates guys with me. Pilates is definitely never as high in heart rates and you will not burn as many calories, but <laughs> don't be fooled. It's definitely still hard. I'm gonna change into non-workout clothes and then we're on the way because it's first day of Ramadan and we have to leave. Yeah. Yeah. It's with bulgur, um, pomegranate and apple and I've heard it before. I swear I know it. And arugula? Aru... Arugula. Arugula. So it's with arugula, tomato, pomegranate, and bulgur. And I think onions. Salata! I'm gonna have a pink one today. Okay, story time. Let me tell you about my first encounter with Lily Sabri. Actually, Linda Sun introduced me to her back when I started to work out more consistently in February, and I was very hesitant to work out with her at first. Back then, I used to do all kinds of low impact workouts, mainly with Heather Robertson. And I'm not saying that that is something bad because, guys, you have to start somewhere and you have to start slow. If exercise is too hard and you are still forcing yourself to push through, a lot of the time it will start to feel like punishment, and you're just like, what the heck am I even doing? Here. And that leads to giving up. Follow your level and listen to your body. Amazon Prime back out again. Is that Amazon? I don't know. Maybe. I didn't order anything at Amazon. Ach so, nein. This is my shoe. But look, 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 look. Hello. Currently editing for the vlog that's going to be live on Sunday. And it's currently Friday and I didn't even completely cut it yet. But I'm already on Friday, so that's good. I also still have to work out and take a walk and put on fake tan today and clean up the entire house because my mom's coming over, so. I know she'd rather keep a distance But as time moves on, she's drifting away Drifting away from me I'm gonna do this the hard way I 
got work in the morning Early, early in the morning Who needs sleep when I'm rocking with you? What a lie! I always need sleep The first Lily workout that I did was a cardio kickboxing life of hers and I think I just searched for a kickboxing workout and Lily's was right at the top and because of Linda's videos I had the name Lily Sabri back in my mind and I was like okay why not give it a try yeah um <clears throat> well uh looking back that video was so not my level back then i remember feeling like dying because i was so short of breath and i was so overwhelmed by lily's personality and she finished the video with irish dancing and that's why i was like what is it about this woman that makes people like her so much this is insane fast forward two months and I'm still here, still working out with Lily because she's bloody amazing, isn't she? Falling out of love with fitness is okay. Never even have been in love with it is totally okay as well. Guys, we all have to start somewhere and we can't be having a great time 24 seven, 365 days. It's definitely the goal to make your life freaking great all year, but there will be ups and downs, whether we're talking about school, love, yes, yes, food or fitness. Hello. We are preparing everything for the dog, making stuffed peppers, true Arabic style. We even got Arabic spicy. It smells really good. It's black and white. I'm up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like. Please don't mind my hair. I just put in coconut oil as a treatment. Please don't feel bad for having a rocky relationship with exercise. We're not all born athletes. I'm definitely not, and it's not my goal to be. I want to work out to have fun. A lot of the time when I'm talking to my friends or my family, the reason as to why people don't work out is because they are scared. They are scared of not having proper form, of not being able to do all reps, scared of being out of breath, and scared of not liking it. Somehow society told us that exercise is just something mandatory, like back in school when you had to run tracks, play any kinds of ball sports, do gymnastics even though you may not want it to. Exercise is taught to be something you just have to do. You don't have to enjoy it, but you should be somewhat good at it and do it regularly. It is taught to be pretty much just using up your time that you could have used for something else that you actually enjoy. Good morning. This is like the sexy scrub that we're wearing. We're actually wearing green bottoms as well. And this process of learning to enjoy fitness is where we start. This is our takeoff point. You can work out just once per week and that's phenomenal. I'm so proud. As long as you enjoy it, it doesn't matter how often you train yet. Because enjoying exercise is the part that matters. Okay guys, it's workout time. It is day 10 of the Lily Sabri guide and I'm looking very much forward to working out. Oh my god, I forgot my pre-workout. And that's why when I felt like I just didn't enjoy fitness anymore, I was like, no way, I'm going to stop now. I'll be trying everything to get back on the grind. And apparently Lily Sabri knows how to read minds because she just created the perfect guide for that. We're going in is not about getting abs in 14 days. It's about restarting with fitness as Lily had been taking a break herself. Babe, you know I'm sorry. Not too long ago, I have received a message on Instagram with that person telling me that they have discovered Lily because of me. And like, my mind was blown, guys. Like, they also told me that Lily's workouts are very hard. Even harder than Pamela's, but that they are slowly but surely working their way up. 
Yes, Lily's workouts are hard, but they are so good. If you follow one of her guides, you will be having six days on and one day off. However, not every one of those six days is high intensity work. Even though Lily is known best for that because that woman is just like a living Jesus. red bull. Or so it seems. Yeah. Sorry. Pilates days are days where your muscles will be on fire, but your heart rate won't spike and you will be pretty much relaxed. <laughs> Cardio days with Lily though are something else, like you will do burpees, froggers, squat jumps, and yes, right when you get up to take a break, Lily Sabri will be standing in front of her camera yelling at you, do not stop guys, don't give up, you got this. I love to hear you when you complain. Currently replying to comments. Just know if you're ever to comment on my video, I reply to almost every single comment. And yes, Lily will tell you that she's watching you. We all know that's nonsense, but your brain still kind of sends more signals to your muscles out of fear of being exposed as a quitter. For me, this was right what I needed. Maybe for you this is too much. Maybe you need someone to be soft and gentle and to take it slow or someone who does not talk at all. But most of us need someone. This can be your workout buddy, but during a still ongoing pandemic, this is kind of tricky. If you want to enjoy fitness, find a good trainer that fits your vibe. Anyways, we're going to get some burger buns. So, out of my own personal experience, I can really recommend Lily Sabri and Sydney Cummings because these two women hit different. People who just really couldn't motivate me were Pamela Reif and Chloe Ting. And that's not meant to be hate. Their style of workouts is just not my cup of tea. But they work out great for many people out there. now 11 o'clock and we're going to have a pretty last minute workout session are you going to join me malik <sighs> what is that maybe it's yes or no so i'm having my pre-workout i don't really find it to wake me up a lot but i'm also only using half a scoop not a full scoop because this is really sweet i don't know if it's placebo but it always makes me feel so hyped so i think malik's going to do his own little thing he never does any Lily Sabri workouts with me. No, you did a growing ananas video with me. And he skipped on every second exercise. It was really funny. Never let your fear decide your fate. You're strong enough to face it all. Even if it doesn't feel like it right now, focus on the step in front of you, not the whole staircase. If you get tired, learn to rest, not to quit. Your only limit is you. I know these quotes can sound so cheesy, but I really wanted you to hear them. You are building your surroundings, especially on social media. In my heart. You don't know. I'm gonna show you. It's so funny. Socials can be so toxic if you let them, and it's up to you to paint them how you like. That's something that really helped me, and it still helps me up to this day. I follow a lot of mental health and self-love and motivational pages because seeing these quotes at least once a day picks me up big time. All in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, Hello. what did you do? Oh, that's my hair, I'm sorry. Um, technically, today would be a rest day, but I took my rest day on Monday because it was the first day back to school and it was very stressful and I was really exhausted, so I didn't feel like working out on Monday. So I'm gonna do the workouts from Monday today because I feel like working out today. I'm very pumped. The weather is so nice, it's actually very sunny. Can you see? balcony right now also I'm wearing a cap because my hair looks disastrous I made my pre-workout I can't open it <laughs> oh there it is there it is I made it in my shaker today you can't always pick yourself back up sometimes we need to read a good quote to keep on going or we have to watch someone on YouTube tell us not to give up in life we need help but in the end it's you it's you who decides to grab that helping hand, and it's you who decides to keep on pushing. This is your life, your workout. Go and make the best out of it, but don't go crazy over trying to be perfect. 
Take small steps and you will still eventually get there. Growth is also not always about the physical change. Not every workout challenge will leave you with more muscles and less fat, but if you have learned something, if you had mental growth, I think it's even better. Falling or being in love with fitness has nothing to do with achieving a certain body type. It's about loving yourself in your body. It's about appreciating yourself to do something good for yourself. The type of exercise can be completely different. Maybe for some of you it's walking, maybe you enjoy horse riding, swimming, polo, weightlifting, hit, whatever it may be. If you find joy in it, then keep on going guys. So I prepared breakfast, this is more lunch, but it's my first meal of the day. So I made, um, this is protein bread with avocado and soft boiled eggs on top. I'm going to cut them open in a little bit. Then I'm having some fruits and a protein bar and a protein shake. Very high in protein because it's my post-workout meal and I have to kind of combine two meals in one. So, yeah. Likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet, baby girl, be mine. Baby girl, be mine. Yeah, yeah. Pick up your phone, I need your attention. My girl, so bad we call her detention. I am so glad we moved beyond friendship. And your mama like me, look, I squared up with you. By the way, what I forgot to tell you is I just faked tan. You can't see much because I'm completely covered. But I tried out a new fake tan. I'm going to show you which one. This is the fake tan that I use. And it's dinner time. And this is so low key. We're just having pasta with tomato sugo. But. It always works. Can't forget about the cheese. Baby, yeah. Good morning, guys. It's actually not the morning anymore. It's already 12 p.m., but it's the last day of the we're going in. What is a guide? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited to do the last day. We're going to do boxing, cardio, and abs. And I actually didn't work out yesterday because I didn't really have the time for it. I also didn't feel like working out. So I actually took two rest days this week. If you don't feel like working out, don't force your body to do it. Some days you have days where you don't feel like working out and you just lack motivation. And some days you don't feel like working out because your body is tired and you kind of have to know and you kind of have to learn to differentiate between the two things so that you know how to listen to your body and how to treat it properly. And yesterday for me was just a day where I was like, mm, it's not a good day for my body, just physically I was too tired. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take that break and I'm going to be back today for the last day. I'm very excited. I also baked hand on Friday. That's why I'm looking a bit more tan. It's the last day. Woo! And you know what? We're done with the motivational pep talking. I think you got it. And guys, if you know this song, please let me know. I'm so fly. I'm so fly. Bye-bye. 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 You're a little bit selfish. I wanted to tell you though what my favorite Lily workout is and funny enough you can see it right here It's the cardio boxing. This just hits different for me Probably because my first Lily workout as I mentioned earlier was a kickboxing workout and whenever we do cardio boxing it like butterflies or something Just kidding. <laughs> also like Lily puts it at the end of the week usually and then she's screaming Think of everything that annoyed you today and just <clears throat> and then you hit it and after having a hard week, yes, this might be exactly what I need. Perfect timing. This whole guide is just 
perfect timing. By the way, the only workout that I did not enjoy was the 1000 reps arms and abs challenge. I don't know, it was a completely different vibe and not really my thing, but I was also under a lot of time pressure right, that guys, day and right maybe that's why. <laughs> But I wanted to be honest with you when I tell you my favorite, I also have to tell you my least favorite, right? Because no one's perfect. You will always have at least one workout that you don't really enjoy that much. Your friend said that you left me. Hello guys, I haven't really spoken to you today and I wanted to come in here real quickly before I forget to say anything about it because I haven't given you any review on the Lily Savory guide so far. I've just loved these past two weeks. They just passed like this. It was so quick. I just want to say thank you to Lily for creating such an awesome and wholesome guide. It just came to me during the right time of my life. It came to me with perfect timing and I'm so glad that I found it. I'm probably going to join Lily's next guide that she's going to publish today as well. It's going to be the It's You Against You guide, which I'm very excited about. It's just been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And if you're currently struggling and you're just like, oh, I just, I just want to sit down, I just want to lay down, and it's not your body telling you physically that you need to rest, it's just your mind. I can only recommend you guys to check out Lily Sabri. She's absolutely killing it. She's always going to motivate you. She's literally the only fitness influencer where I can train with for two weeks consecutively and I'm not tired of it. I'm not bored of it and I'm enjoying it and I'm still looking forward to every single workout every single day. Yes, you're going to have days where you're going to listen to her workouts and she's just going to scream at you and you're like, oh my God. Like, shut the fuck up, what are you doing? And then you're going to have days where you're like, oh my god, thank you for yelling at me. Like, this is what I needed. I can only recommend you to check out Lily and fall in love with fitness because that's what she's best at. And she's also going to make you fall in love with her food because I am so desperately waiting for her to drop her app because I want to see all those recipes that she's created because I'm just so freaking curious about them. I feel like some of you might be tired of Lily because she's been everywhere because she's gotten so big over lockdown and like the past year and so many people have been working out with her and creating videos about her and she's just growing and growing and growing. I hope you're not tired of her yet um, because I feel like every other YouTuber like me is posting about Lily but that's just because she's really great okay like i can't change it that's just how it is watching her stories and her videos just makes me want to move to dubai to be completely honest but that would be a very basic german move at this point and i'm not going to do that <laughs> This is liquid. It's delicious. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so that I can see you next week. All I'm trying to say right here is I love these workouts, and I love this challenge, I love this guide, and yeah, I hope you're having a great time. See ya!